Today we're going to learn, well, review because we did this last chapter, how to multiply decimals by whole numbers. So if we look down here, it says multiply decimals. To place the decimal count, to place the decimal, I should have a comma there, count the amount of decimal spaces in the numbers and place it in the answer. So we have 4 times 0 0.83. Do you see how there's one, two decimal places here? Yes. So there has to be two decimal places down here. Please stop that, Dalton. Okay, so our first one. In multiplication, does it matter what number goes on top? No. No, so I'm always going to go with my longest number yeah. on top. So 0 0.25 times 5. We're just going to multiply this at first like it's regular whole number. So our 5 times 5 is what, guys? 25. Then we have 10 plus 2 is 12. Hey, raise your hand if you know how many decimal places Ooh. there's going to be. I said raise your hand, Ava. 2, two because there's 1, 2 here. So we're going to have 1, 2 here. No, I'm your mouth closed. Lucas. 1.25 is your answer. Now, when we move on to this next one, we have 8 times 4.47. What number do you think you should put on top, Carter? 4.47, correct. Because that's the longer one. It's easier to do when the longer one's on top, right? So, 7 times 8 is... 56. 4 times 8 is? Oh, plus 5 is? 4 times 8 is? Plus 3 is? So, between what numbers am I going to put my decimal? See, so? 5 and 7. 5 and 7, because there's 1, 2 up here, so we need 1, 2 down here. How many people remember doing this in the last chapter? Good. And then we have this last one on top. 9 times 2.63. What number do you guys want to put on top? 2.63? Times 9. So 9 times 3 was 27. 6 times 9 is? Plus 2 is? 2 times 9 is? Plus 5 is? Raise your hand if you know where the decimal is going to go. Carter? Um, uh-huh. Because we have one, two, one, two. I should have made it a little bit diff Not all two. Sorry. Sometimes it will be one or three or four. Okay, down here we're going to annex. Who thinks they know what the word annex means? No one? Like add? Add. We're going to be adding a zero. So, if there are not enough decimal places in the product, you need to annex zeros to the left. To annex a zero means to place a zero at the beginning or end of a decimal. So, if we take a look at this example, we have 0 0.018 times 2, and 18 times 2 is 36, right? Do you see how there's 1, 2, 3 places? So, we need 1, 2, 3 down here. They added a zero right in front of the 36. We could have three. So let's actually try it this time. Which number do you want to put on top? Three or 0 0.02? Okay. So I get six. And that's my answer, right? What really? Put zero. Put two zeros. Zero. Okay, so how many? Who thinks they know how many places we need behind the decimal? Ava? Two. So we have one, you two. Have. So we have to have a zero here and then our decimal, right? Yes. And then a lot of you like to do that, right? But if you forget it in front of there, it's not that big of a deal. I'm going to do 0 0.12 times 8. What's 12 times 8? Oh, 16. 16. Oh, no, not 96. 96. Yeah. 96. How many decimal places do we need? One, two. Two. This one we don't have to annex anything, do we? Well, I need to know what to do. 
Which one do you want on top? 11 or 0.0? 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. Yeah. This one? So we get 5 and 4. Placeholder of a 0. And then 5 and 4. These weren't very good examples of this, was it? Where's the decimal going to go? Allie? Um, Okay, how many decimal places are up here, Allie? Three. One, two, three. So we need one, two, three. So our decimal is in front of our four. Okay, are there any questions? Okay, we're going to go to our math book and do some practice problems, and then you'll get your homework.